I'm at the Wooden Shoe Tulip Farm in Woodburn, Oregon. It's 8.58 a.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time, Friday, March 18th, 2022 A.D. So uh, this is the first day they're open to the public for the year. I got in kind of early, hoping to see hot air balloons. That got canceled due to the weather, but as long as I'm here, I might as well pretend to care about the flowers too. As you can see, the plants, some of them are barely even coming out of the ground. You look really hard. There's like a nice big uh, patch of red ones over there. Some pink ones just starting here. And then a little bit of yellow ones over there. So it, they, they planted, I don't know if unevenly, like some earlier than others or what. But anyway, that's good because that makes the season last longer. Um, looks like the season is officially going to last about a month and a half. So mid-March until the end of April. Of course, they actually don't make that much money selling the flowers. But believe it or not, what they do is they end up chopping off the flowers. Maybe selling them but that makes the bulbs grow bigger than they sell the bulbs so people can plant them in their gardens and stuff kind of interesting anyway so so the point is if i get here uh, a month from now there could be more flowers or by then maybe they already chopped off the flowers and i missed my chance so i want to get a video of them chopping off the flowers they call it topping the plants but, they, they do it when they feel like it. They don't necessarily give a lot of advance warning. So anyway, I'm going to mention to them before I leave, you know, they should put on the thing, their website or whatever, when they're going to be doing that. It rained just like 10 minutes this morning, but that was enough to cancel the hot air balloons. And it's partially cloudy, but it's getting sunnier and sunnier. I almost like the lighting now. For photography and videography, I usually prefer uh, nice sunny days. Unless it's for photogrammetry, in which case I want it cloudy so there's no shadows. But this isn't for photogrammetry, this is just a regular video. But yeah, here we are, some nice pretty yellow flowers here. See, since it's a weekday and so on, there aren't very many people here. So, get the whole place to myself, pretty much. Basically, I've already walked a full lap around this place, and I'm on my second lap now. Something to do, <laughs> get my exercise. All right. I already got a video of this row coming this direction. Now I'm going to get a video going the other direction because the lighting is better. Well, I happen to be here anyway. I already mentioned it before. There's a cool walkway up there. I like that place. Oh, you know, I think I did get a video going the same direction now that I think about it. <laughs> that was like 10 minutes ago. I forgot already. Time goes by fast when you're having fun. They say they've got a lot of reservations for people to ride the hot air balloons. So hopefully they'll have some good weather so the hot air balloons will be here for real. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Who knows, maybe next week. See how it goes. There are two parking lots here. There's a small one to the right over there where you see that pickup and that other vehicle. That's closer to the hot air balloons. So if you're coming here, you don't really care about the flowers, you just want to check out the hot air balloons, that'd be a better place to park. But the bigger parking lot is over on the other side of this building. This is where you should park if you want to just check out the uh, flowers and stuff because it's closer to the uh, most of the fields and because there's simply more parking. Increase your chance of finding a good spot, I suppose.